Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Valentine's look for you and I already did my base for this look so I'm just showing you what I did for eyes and lips. So I'm priming my lips with the uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion just to make my eyeshadows last all night and then I am also setting this with the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Orb, this one right here and I'm just dusting this all over my lids to get that tackiness to uh, like go away and make eyeshadows blend a lot easier later on. And then I'm going in with the Morphe Brushes 35K palette and I'm using this like pale orange shade and I'm just putting this in my crease for a transition shade and I'm using the Morphe M433 brush for this. Uh, which I talked uh, about in my haul and I really like this brush. It is very fluffy and it also blends out your shadows really, really nicely. So I actually enjoy this brush a whole lot. So yeah, I'm very happy I bought that. And I'm just dusting this on my in my crease and also on the lower lash line a little bit. And then I'm going in with that same palette and I'm going in with this like a bit cool toned brown shade which is a bit darker than the first shade that I put down and I'm just doing the exact same thing um, just to, you know, build up color. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm not going as far up as I did with the first shade, just going a bit below that so you can still see both of them. And then I'm going in with this um, like dark brown or medium brown toned eyeshadow which is in the middle of the palette and I'm concentrating this uh, shade a bit more and being a bit more careful and I'm using the MAC 217 for this since it is a bit like slimmer to the tip of the brush so I'm just following the natural curves of my crease and then also going on the lower lash line to get that extra definition so I'm kind of like hugging the eye as you can see here like going from the middle of the lower lash line and then just connecting it to the top and just creating like a bow around the eye. So I'm just following the natural curve. So it's like hugging the eye, I would say. And this also creates a illusion of shadows. And now I'm going in with the second uh, glittery shade from this palette. It is a bit more golden toned. And I'm using this on a little Morphe shading brush. I'll list the exact name down below for you so you can see what name it has. And this is really good for packing on shadows, I think. It's a bit small though, but it's alright. And then just to intensify this color a little bit more, I'm using MAC Fix Plus to spritz a little bit on my brush and then dip it down to the eyeshadow. And you can see here that it does become a bit more opaque and sparkly and that's what I wanted so that's good all right and then I'm going in with a loose glitter on top of this and this is the um, morph no not a morphe sorry the makeup store eye dust in the shade April which is a bit more pink than the last shade and I did want a bit more pink since it is Valentine's. <laughs> and then I'm going in with my Isadora Inliner Kajal in the shade 56 Blonde. Just to make my eyes appear a bit more bigger and more awake. So I'm just using this on the lower waterline. And then for tight lining, I'm using the Makeup Store Eyeliner in black and I'm just putting this on the upper waterline and really getting in there between the lashes since we are going in with pretty voluminous um, lashes and then I'm just going in with this Max Factor uh, mascara any will do and then I'm using the flutter lashes in the style provocative and these are the ersatz ersatz I don't know how to say that <laughs> Um, I also talked about this in my um, about these in my haul and they are very fluffy and long and a bit like I don't know they're just ah they're so big <laughs> but it, they're pretty I think and then I'm going with this makeup store blush in the shade is it complex or is it magic I'll have it listed down below and then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier 
Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Highlight 01, which is my favorite. And I'm using this on my Morphe. I can't remember the name. <laughs> I'll put that in the description box down below as well. But I do really like using this highlighter with this brush. It is very, very nice. And I'm also dusting this underneath my eyebrow just to get that a bit highlighted as well. And here you see that glow on my cheeks. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> And then after this, I'm going in with the Makeup Store Lip Liner in the shade Melon, which is a like a pink nude lip color, I would say. And I'm just putting this on my lips, overdrawing a little bit on the upper lip since they are a bit uneven, and just filling it in. After that, I am going in with the MAC lipstick in the shade Angel and it's a frost color so it does reflect a little bit which I like. It looks like the lips are a bit more plump. And then after that, I'm just spritzing my face with some MAC Fit Plus and then I'm ready to go out. And I really like this look and I hope you do too. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.